Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if apps and games are not working or opening properly on your Windows 11 computer. So this could definitely be a frustrating issue. And in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve that without too much of a hassle. And we're going to go ahead and jump straight into it. So first thing you're going to do is open up the start menu, type in regedit, so R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best result, should go back to registry editor. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive the user account control prompt, go ahead and select yes. Now before you proceed in the registry, I would highly suggest you create a backup of it. So if anything were to go wrong, you could easily restore it back. In order to create the backup, all you have to do is select file and then export. File name, I'd recommend naming it the date in which you are making the backup. Set export range to all and then save it to convenient and easily accessible location on your computer. And if you ever need to import it back in, all you would do is select file and then import and navigate to the file location. So again, pretty straightforward process. And now we're ready to begin. So you're going to start off by double clicking on the H key classes root folder. So double click on that. And now you want to locate the .exe section. So you may have to scroll down. You can also just click on one of the folders and just start typing it. So you can see it says .exe. You want to make sure there's a default value in here, and if you click on it, it should be a string value, so you double click on it. Make sure value data is set to exe file, exactly how you see it on my screen here, guys. So again, very important, it says exefile, no spaces in between. So again, make sure it's exactly how you see it on my screen here. So click on OK to close out of there. And now you also want to go down to exe file. It's actually a folder, it doesn't have a dot in front of it, so just start typing exe file. And it should come back with a folder with exactly that over here. Now on the right side, locate the default value in here. Double click on it. Set value data to application. So just type in application. Exactly how you see it on my screen here, guys. Very important. And then once you're done with that, click on OK. So now you want to expand the exe file on the left side. So it says exe file. It's really a folder. Um, it's just called exe file. So go ahead and double click on that should be a shell value in here, or shell folder, double click on it. And now it should be an open folder, left click on that one time. On the right side, you want to locate where it says default, go ahead and double click on that. Make sure there is nothing in here, okay? Make sure it's empty, and then select OK to save that change. And then once you're done with that, close out of here and restart your computer. And there you go, guys. That should hopefully be about it. And as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.